Okay, so the first thing you want to do, peel your potatoes. And these potatoes we planted from in our garden. So we're going to take advantage of that. And they're really good. So just peel the potatoes. And I don't throw away my potato peels. I put them in our compost bin. So I'm going to set those aside. Okay, so I'll probably peel around, oh, let's see, eight potatoes. All right, so once you get all your potatoes peeled, what you want to do is just cut them up into like, oh, well, about half inch little cubes or three eighths of an inch. So for that, you just kind of do this. All right, so once your potatoes are all diced, you just want to put some olive oil, a skillet, and then dump your diced potatoes in there. You got quite a bit. That's gonna be good. And then I like to add spices. I just sprinkle some in there. And you cook that until they're nice and golden brown. Alright, so you want to stir that around pretty often. You don't want it to get stuck to the pan. And you want to cook that on medium high or my stove at about six and a half. And just keep cooking it. It'll turn golden brown eventually. Well, as you can see, the diced potatoes are starting to brown up a little bit. It's really smelling good too. So, what I'll do now is I'll Start getting the musky ready. I'll make my, uh, my cracker crumbs for the coating while the potatoes keep cooking. All right, so for my breading that I'm gonna use for the musky, I'm just gonna put about a half of a package of crackers and just a little bit of garlic powder in, in a Ziploc. Then, I'm just gonna crunch that all up. like that okay so then what I do I just empty that all those crumbs in the plate just kind of spread that out then put my slab of fish on there just kind of push it in a little bit And then I'll flip it. And just kind of go back and forth like that. And then you could always take some, sprinkle it on top, push that in. Usually that's what I'll do. Try to push all the cracker crumbs 
into the fish like that. Yeah. It's pretty good right there. All right, so to cook the musky, what I do is I just put some olive oil in the skillet. I don't really skimp on there. I like to coat the whole bottom. And then I put the temperature at about medium to medium low. I don't want to cook it too hot. So I'll let that warm up. Then I'll put my fillets on there. And look at that. Potatoes are looking really good. Okay, so when your pan gets up to temperature, you can go ahead and put your fillets in. Ooh, yeah. That's going to be good. These fillets are really big. I could have used another, I could have used a bigger pan, but that's okay. They'll shrink. That is going to be so good. So while the fish is cooking at medium temperature, I got my diced potatoes here and I bring the temperature down because they're just about ready. So I just kind of let them still cook but very slowly and they'll crunch up a little bit. It's going to be really good. All right, so after cooking that for maybe roughly 10 minutes, it should be, oh yeah, just like that. So that side's pretty well cooked when it gets that nice golden brown. So I just kind of flip them over. Oh yeah, and that's already flaking apart. Look how good that looks already. Mm -mm -mm. And the potatoes are definitely just about ready. Keeping it on low heat, keep it nice and warm. Alright, so it's been cooking about 10 minutes. And I flipped it, and the other side is really good. So everything's ready. Forgot to mention that this muskie is something that we caught while we're fishing. And I'll try to put a picture of a couple of them that I think of it. I'll put a picture of what the muskie looks like before it's all filleted. Potatoes are ready and I just warmed up some corn from our garden. What we do is we freeze it right in the husk and everything and then we take it out and we heat it up in the microwave. Three minutes Put two ears in there for three minutes or five minutes, I can't remember. So that's what we're gonna have. All right, dinner is served. Look how good that looks. And when I was putting the plates together, I just realized that none of this is from the store. That's musky from what we caught when we went fishing. The diced potatoes are potatoes that we grew in our garden and the corn on the cob that we grew in the garden. So that's awesome. It's almost like a free meal.